Hello everyone, I'm with Laura Erdem from Dream Data, sales leader. What are some ridiculous reports or things that you see people doing and they're like, hey, look at this, we're doing this, and you think, what, what, that may, just makes me cringe. So one of the things is marketing versus sales source revenue. And there comes a company over to you and says, oh, help us out on reporting on marketing versus sales source revenue. It's like, come on, let's take a step back. Why? It, because it comes from the alignment from the top. Like, what does your CFO ask you to report on? Or how are you being asked to report on your leads? Or, I don't know, click-through rates or whatever crazy reporting. So we don't see that, that just, just yet, but, but people start to talk about this. And the type of work you're talking about, this is the alignment between marketing and sales to work as one team. The good thing is most of the companies I speak with, they already are aware that this is shit. <laughs> but nice. they still continue doing that. Is this a fight? And how do we figure out like, cause if you want, and that's what they're doing. If you want to make this sales source, well, just blast emails out to them or try to cold call the wrong numbers that are just assigned to the accounts. And you're the source revenue when they close. The same goes for marketing send out blast emails or register for some crazy campaign that you have sent out gifts or something they might not even receive yet. And you've got the marketing source revenue, but they're aware. What most people are doing is you actually just create a combined pipeline, a combined pipeline number, and you have some humility from the marketing side saying, hey, these campaigns we're executing for you and they're not working. We're going to shift over here. We're not going to take credit, but we are also going to support you on your mid funnel stuff. It builds trust with the sales team and it gets you to the point where you're working together and not just entering stuff into the funnel and hoping they follow up with yours as opposed to someone else's. Exactly. Are you seeing more people doing that as well? I mean, BDRs are marketing too. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I see more and more companies adding BDRs to their teams, which is yeah. really cool. And then like the border between sales and marketing comes so much closer. That's yep. nice. Yep. Well, thanks for spending time. I'm going to end the interview because my arm's killing me. My shoulder's burning so bad. <laughs> so thank you so much, Laura. Appreciate it. <laughs> thank you so much. Nice to meet you, Scott.